Hey everybody, it's Al. So, again, I'm looking at this, uh, machining this fillet here, and, uh, let me blank this out. So this is the drive surface I'm working with that I've selected. This is my first curve. This is my, uh, second curve. You know, and as you can see, uh, this is the tool path that is generated. So I do have some... Uh, extension options if I come in here I have extend trim and I can give it a, a value to uh, extend past or trim uh, the tool path which in this case because of the direction uh, the curves that I've selected it's it's uh, extending it past on on the sides of the part um, versus having it uh, start uh, from the top of the part versus the contact point now I can, uh, you know, remove my curves and then uh, select uh, these edges here. Uh, let me just grab them real quick and uh, recompute that toolpath. So now that will give me the ability to have it, um, you know, extend past the edge of the part, uh, but it's not the direction. Uh, that I was looking to uh, cut in, you know, so if we make this 200 and compute that, you know, you can see it's starting higher above the part and finishing further off the part. There's a couple of gaps in the, the path, so I'd have to adjust some settings to clean that up, but that's not really a big deal. So the only other option that I have um, that's apparent to me, uh, let me see here is uh, to extend the surfaces. So the first thing I'll do is uh, take the surfaces and put them on their own layer. Uh, this is just to turn everything else off. Then from there, I'll create another layer and extract the edges. So here and here. So now I have those edges. Then I can do surface, um, extrude surface. And let's bring this uh, No cap Z axis. Uh, extrude surface, sorry, hold on. Extrude curve. Alright, so now. So now I can extend that, that surface up like that, or whatever value I want to use. So then when I come in here. I can reselect my drive surfaces, which would be these ones, and then I'll reselect uh, my upper curve, and then I'll reselect my lower curve, and then I'll <clears throat> recompute my toolpath. <clears throat> okay, and then now you can see. Uh, I have a problem with surface normals, so one side is cutting on the wrong side, so I can come in here and view my surface normals, and you can see, uh, let me blank my cutter path, uh, blank, blank, alright, so you can see these normals are pointing out, and these normals are pointing in, so I can reverse those, alright, now they're facing the right way, then I can uh, reselect my drive surfaces, and recompute my toolpath and then I can unblank my toolpath and now you can see when I bring the model back up I can have it start above the part so you know I guess what I'm what my frustration is is that um, I'm not able to uh, adjust where the starting path is from if I ran a Z level finish on this it would start from the top if I use a surface tool path it will start from the contact point and uh, well I just found it a little annoying um, again nothing that you can't uh, overcome but uh, you know I was curious what everybody else's feedback is in this particular scenario thank you so much guys